drop an engine because I don't know how to drive a stick. Did you get did you even get the stick shift? Did you? property's not mine, unfortunately enough, decisions get made on the property 
where it affects the animals. And if it affects the animals in a negative way, I cannot sit on board with that. You couldn't put a million dollars in front of my face to look the other way. It would never happen. No amount of money in this world is worth the safety and the well-being of my animals being thrown in a direction where they're not safe and they're not well kept and bad things happen. And so sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you have to make sacrifices. And even though that may hurt your pocket, again, we're here for the animals because nobody can speak for them. So unfortunately for the owner of this property, uh, I'm not the type of person to bend or break on any rules, laws, or regulations, and I'm damn sure not the person that's going to bend or break on anything that uh, puts my animals in jeopardy. It's not gonna happen. I don't care how much money you offer me. So, he got into a situation where shit got dangerous and I had to pull my shit out and go the other way because, again, like, the animals did nothing wrong. And unfortunately, if I could, and this is very hypocritical to say, if I could, all these animals would be in the wild and the world would be a good place. That's not the way this works. No matter what, these animals were going somewhere, at least they got to be with me. They still are, and they're well cared for, but this is gonna be a very depressing episode here. So we're gonna be moving these macaques. Um, if you look at Tyler's video, you'll see the beginning of this where we knock them down. So you can go over to Tyler Nolan and uh, check out the video. We move some alligators at the end of that. You'll see where we uh, take these macaques out. And it's just something that's bittersweet, you know. They're gonna be safe, but at the same time, they're farther away than I want. So we're doing what's right for the animals. We will always do what's right for the animals, no matter what. So that's what we have to do. But um, I'm not happy about it not happy about it so all right we're gonna catch you guys at wild at heart we're going to set these guys up and then we have some other surprises for you as well so we're gonna keep cruising ladies and gentlemen and as unhappy as I may be I know I'm fighting for what's right 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 who are we here for me. For Madison. We're here for Madison. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, dudes. Super tired. It's getting late. We still have some other shit we got to do with the homie over here, homie over here, Mr. Carmine and Miss Leslie. We got a cat we got to work on. It's getting dark. So I'm going to let these guys out. The homies are going to stay here for a little while. My buddy Jeremy is kind enough to help me out <clears throat> to let my homies. Oh, I know. To let my homies come over here and have a spot. Go check it out, bud. Oh, you got space. You got space. Come here, mama. Clearly, they were good with their drugs. Here, you can hand that right through. Check it this out. Come on, mama. Mama. So they got some space. What are you doing, Romeo? Big boy. Big boy. Oh, she's already going for it? Wait, is that him up? Uh, hey, he's up top. What you doing, Mama? Hey, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, this is going to work out good. You got a lot of space? You got a lot of space? You got a lot of space? Come here, Mama. Jules. Come on. Hey, Jules. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, Munchkin. Munchkin. What you doing, big boy? What you doing, my bubba? What you doing? What you doing? Bubba? What you doing? Who do you see? You see a tiger? You never seen a tiger before. You never seen a tiger before. Oh, this is good. Homie's got his space. I know. I love you, big boy. I'm gonna come see you. I'm gonna be back here in a couple of days, okay? And they're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Aren't you good? Hmm? You gonna be good? You gonna be good for them? Probably not. You're gonna be a dick, because that's what you do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think they're digging their shit. I'm gonna probably, I could have probably actually brought Madison in here because they're paying attention to everything but us, which never happens. Hi, Christy. Hi. 
It's Mr. Carmine over there, the man of the hour. Madison, the woman of the hour. And then the real man of the hour, Mr. Shetler over there, the vet, making sure everything's all kosher. Oh, man, it has been a rough week, but this is actually pretty good. The homie seems like he's interested. There's the tiger over there that he's looking at. So he's got a lot of stuff to do. You got stuff to look at. We're going to bring you some toys. We brought you a slide in here and everything. What's up, dude? Romeo. Who's that? What's he doing? Romeo. Is that the guy that gives you all those drugs? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Come here, mama. Come on. Come on. Come over. It's okay. Come on. You still sleeping? You still sleeping, my big boy? All right, so I think this is going to work out pretty good for these guys. It's actually pretty spacious in here, which I like, and you guys will like too. He's a little confused. He's a little unsure what's going on, but I think this is going to be a great... Oh, he's already grooming. You going to pick those cabs up? Good boys. And again, ladies and gentlemen, once we get past the nightmare of all this, we'll explain why all this is going down, but... All that really matters right now is that the homies are safe. And the homies are safe. They're just out here checking things out. So this is gonna work out perfect. At least I think so. Oh, there he is. What are you doing, bud? Don't don't start with your shit, man. Don't start. You're gonna be angry now? I gotta get out of the cage though, okay? Because we got other work to do. But you're gonna be good. I'm gonna be back in a couple of days. I'm gonna be back just in a few days. All right. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. All right, and that's it. Another day of moving a bunch of shit out. And now he's not going to let me out of the cage because he's going to be on his dad. Yeah, I hear you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, until the next time. Bittersweet, but at least they're staying in the family. We'll give you guys updates. We'll be back here in a couple of days. We're going to Build a couple more things onto this enclosure. I'm gonna be helping Jeremy out with some stuff, so you'll see all of that. Catch us later on the next one. Boom. Bye, Juliet. <laughs>